Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today we are going to be playing Stasis Bone Totem. Now this is from an indie developer, I've played one of their previous games before and that game is called Beautiful Desolation and I absolutely loved it, I thought it was fantastic, excellent point and click adventure game. So this is their newest game, I think it is technically a sequel because they have made their first game, which I believe was their first game ever, just called Stasis. So I don't know if this is a direct sequel to that one or not, but we're going to play it anyway and if I enjoy this I'll probably go back and play the original game. Let's get straight into it baby. It is so much darker when a light goes out than if it had never shone. Deep. True. Nah, lads, when you find it, an abandoned rig in the middle of nowhere, from all media I've seen, you just leave that alone. They probably could have used assistance, but yeah, you're, you're far too late now. Deep C15. Shit. It's a Cade Corp rig. Still no response. No comms. No power. Maybe they bugged out. Just left instead of dismantling your proper. Only one way to find out. I see a docking port up ahead. Hold on tight. It's nice to see that they've kept the the cutscenes and camera work um, with what I've seen from Beautiful Desolation because I noticed when playing that game everything was so claustrophobic up close and it added like some great atmosphere like all the shots are really close on people's faces so it's like it's like very intimate they've done the same here it's such a unique look okay we're tied off Rain may be letting up too. Huh. And the foxhounds are live and sniffing. Foxhound mapping network connected. We really think these mapping drones are worth it. We have to map the whole thing. With the salvage reports. There's no way we do that without drones. And we're borrowing them, Mac, not buying them. Borrowing has a price too. <laughs> Look at it, Mac. If it's empty, this changes everything for us. Not everything. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. You're right. I'm gonna head into the brig. Hey, let's sync the QSDs. Quantum source device shared storage. 
is now current. Here's active? Yeah. I still can't find the spare device, though. Oh, it's on Moses. I needed its battery. Great. QSD on a toy bear. It'll be passing as seashells and barnacles. He's more than a toy. QSD, quantum storage device. Right. Left click, use an item by selecting it from inventory and clicking on an interactive location on the puzzle screen. You can only use items on a puzzle screen pop up. Phenomenal. I like it when puzzles are kept localized. I like that. Pink to highlight locations in the environment. Blue means interactive and green means description. Share an item by selecting and then clicking on a port rate or grab an item by hovering over a port rate and choosing the item. Open the PDA to view archive conversations. Place items in the special inventory slots and manipulate them. Mac can break, bend and crush an item. Charlie can repair. Okay, so he's called Mac, she's called Charlie. Which characters by selecting their port rate? Very pretty straightforward, I like it. Oh, there we go. This is awesome. Super toy. We should really get rid of these. But yet. Oh, what is this? It's hideous. Oh, it's the bear she was talking about. She stole it power cell. Okay, so that's why it didn't work. Bed. Bookshelf. Dark water. Workbenches. <sighs> How are we going to... It's just... Never ending. Tell me about it, bruh. Tell me about it. Picture frame. Oh. I keep waiting. But... Fool's errand. Never hurts any less. Well, that's him and her. I wouldn't have to... Have... I wouldn't have the daughter's dead or if she's just missing. Because he said hopes a fool's errand, so I don't think she's dead. Maybe she just went missing. The ship's helm is a chaotic jumble of old equipment, charts, and novels. Cell recharge station. Fuse housing is totally rusted. Gotta fix it at some point. You know, with all the free time that I've got. Oh, that's cool. You can either press that and use right mouse button. So the ping works in puzzles as well. That's good, so you know what you can actually press on. Aha. See, I think... This is just my opinion, lads. But I think point-and-click adventure games shouldn't be about pixel hunting. I think it should be about the puzzles. And, like, for example, it should al should always show you things you can interact with on the screen. You shouldn't have to, like, randomly go, oh, well, that looks like I can interact with it or not. They've done an excellent job here. I respect it. Right, so I think that's dead. Yeah, we need whatever goes here. Check, vitals check. Uh, I hear you. You seeing what I'm seeing? Mm-hmm. Plug suits live. Signal is good. <sighs> this rig is massive. It doesn't look scuttled either. There's way too much equipment left behind. Kurt, Kurt, dog, Darren. Mortar man. Personal log. Looks like another lab has been set up on the mule. 
Yesterday's cargo resupply had at least a dozen stasis pods. This morning, I processed a sizable neural cortex vat suspended in jelly. Not gonna lie, it made me hungry. Yo, bro, this guy's tapped. I forwarded the security protocols to Follis. Unfortunately, the asshole still has me by the balls, and he knows it. I thought it was just in my head, but the more I listened, the more convinced I became that it was real. I asked everyone around me if they could hear it too, but they all just looked at me like I was crazy. I couldn't shake the feeling that the music was there, though. It was so faint and ethereal, like it was coming from another world. I've never had an experience like this before, and it's really unsettling. I wish someone else could have heard the music too, so I wouldn't feel so alone in this. Investigating order treatments for cybernetic degradation due to the salt air. Order a mag lift coupler bracket, investigate required spares, security latches, and check for new food. Two Babs Darren. Pending delivery, it never got delivered. I fear that I may not express myself correctly if I try to tell you how much you mean to me. I'm working on digging us out of this debt hole that I unwittingly put us in. I can only imagine the shock and disappointment you felt when you found out. I was sure the investment was good, but I recognise now that I have a lot to learn. I fully expect to repair the company and get you out of the debt holding facility in five years. I have a surefire way of making a ton of cash. I need to pay off a few game debts and then I can get my system running again. You'll always be right here in my heart no matter where I am. Love, Kurt. The pill pushers told me to start keeping a dream journal, so here it is, the same dream I have every night. I'm in a magnificent chapel, large red and black stained glass windows with emblazoned images of Jesus and Mary are staring back at me. A thousand voices hum in the background. I look down and have no arms, legs or torso. My head is part of a seething mass of goop. I scream and the entire mass vibrates and I start humming the same tune. My lips are forced to move against my will. A human figure enters from the vestibule and, tear and tears my tongue from my mouth. I am forced to look at the figure. It speaks. I do not understand its speech. Father Melvin would be proud that three years of religious education have finally borne fruit. Yo, this, I, I, lad, I love fucked up shit like this. Like insidious thoughts from some sort of weird being. I like it. Chuck a paste. Don't confuse berry for strawberry again. Order tube cable, blah blah blah. Captain. Are there any issues with DS15 outgoing mail? I've been trying to get a hold of my mother for the last month and every message I've sent is still marked as pending delivery. I've called my sentence a dozen times. I'm hesitant to push too hard since Kane takes care of my mother as part of my contract, but she's the only reason I put up with this literally shit work and criminal pay. I've spent the last two mornings unclogging sewage and scraping more of Kay's sordid experiments out of assorted containers. I think I deserve the right to check up on her. Can you help me out, Cap, for all time's sake? I want to know what capsules they're messing with. Bell Maintenance keeps tripping the electronics up here, which is a pain in my ass. Kurt do this, Kurt do that, Kurt fix this. I'm going to bypass Substation 1 and Substation 4. Nuke them both from the system, of course. That could result in a catastrophic fire, but that would be someone else's problem. No juice for the entire platform means a vacation for Kurt Dog. The dreams have stopped, but the chorus has gotten louder. I can now make out some of the words. Apple trees and pear trees are in blossom. Mists above the winding river float. Quarantine order as of corrupted. Hollis's drone races are on hiatus, which is bitter news. Worse yet, the quarantine went into effect before the last results and payouts were distributed. So I'm left twiddling my thumbs, waiting for this whole thing to blow over. I can feel it in my gut I've won something, maybe won big, but I can't help wondering if the greedy bugger isn't using quarantine as a cover to cut me out. Logs were, 65 logs were removed. Calf's wife came up from the mule in a body bag. Please keep me safe in your care, Kane. Help me to feel your presence and know that I am never alone. Protect me from all the harm and guide me on my path. May your love and grace surround me always. Alright, that, that's okay, so that's everything. Yeah, okay. I think we're in for some, for some messed up shit here, lads. Cargo boxes. They've been packed and placed in preparation for loading them onto a ship. However, the extensive weathering from the elements suggests that such a ship never came. Found the power generator. It's not spinning. Explains why we didn't pick up any radio chatter. Think we can get it running? Well, it's locked up, but 
Yeah. Looks intact. Hold on. I'm coming up. Nice. Oh, so here we go. Ping. That's the log. Ah, okay. Let's save game. And that's just what we do. Excellent. But wait there. We can... Aha! That is cool. What, what could she do again? Share stuff. Place items in special inventory slots and manipulate them. Mac can break, bend and crush an item. Charlie can repair or combine. I don't know... Oops. I don't know why we would want to... Combine a fuse and tape. But let me just see if we can do it. No, of course not. <laughs> I thought I'd try. I thought, I thought I'd try it. Right, come on then. Let's go and... See Mark. I forget how frighteningly beautiful the ocean is at night. Frightening's right. Especially during a storm. Though there be fury on the waves, beneath them, there is none. Says who? Times like this, wish I had something to pray to. Please, let this all be okay. Let it be okay. I think she might suffer from like anxiety or panic attacks like she's always trying to calm herself down. Deep Sea 15. What is this place? Who cares? Let's figure out if it's empty, claim the title, and get out of here. Well, this one may warrant some overtime. Well, that's just the log that we just read. Hmm. I can do this. Charlie, I mean it. We can't afford this right now. What does that mean? It means when risks catch up with you, they catch up with me too. What? Why? Oh, she's on a narrow platform. Charlie, God damn it! I made it, Mac. It's fine. It was fine this time. I know my limits. That's not the point. The point is, if you get hurt with our debt, we lose the boat too. Haven't we lost enough? <sighs> That's why we're here. This woman. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not exactly fine because you can't go back. Oh, yeah, she's stuck here now. Bent balustrade. Something large and heavy forced these balustrades to near collapse. Whether it fell into the ocean below or was cleared by hand, no trace of the culprit remains. I think she's going to be the more daring one, isn't she? Like, she can cross stuff like this where maybe he can't. Looks like this is the only way in. It's... Uh, it's rusted shut. Rusted portal window. Twisted rod. Oh, so we don't need to wrap with that and that. Uh... I've got an idea. Uh, how do we do it? Give that to him. Bend, break or smash objects. I 
Oh yeah, baby. We got a straightened rod. Look at this. It even says yeah, baby in the description. <laughs> That's it's so men are so Neanderthal when you give us like a fucking weapon that resembles a stick or a sword. Yeah, baby. Right, let's smash the window. Give that to her. Awesome. Smash. Smash! No smashing is happening. Definitely right. And again, these portholes glass are pretty strong. She probably couldn't smash it in all fairness. Right, okay, so that's not what we do. Okay, well the thing is... She can't actually go anywhere else. Okay. We've got more to explore with him anyway. Let's see what we've got. Upstairs? Yeah, she went down there, didn't she? Junction box. Give me this. Damn it. I think the gear Broken. operator's bust. I can fix it. Pass it over in the QSD. Broken control unit. Oh, that's where the control unit went. Alright, give her that. Oh, well that's good. All we need is a fuse. Boom. These fuse boxes are tricky, but the control unit should work now. This is awesome. Look, I've, I've also noticed this. Look. Her torch follows the mouse cursor. Slightly. That's pretty cool. I like this. I like how we can just transfer objects between characters because of that quantum... Quantum... Storage device, QSD. Right. Get this up and run. Light it up! That opened up. Something's not right. All this equipment, why would they leave it? You've heard of gift horses, I presume. Yeah. And Trojan horses. True. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. AJ. Start push button. A A F G A A F G J J A A. Okay. Have we been down there? Okay, that's back to where we started. Hmm. Need something to pry this lock. Oh, you mean like something straight and metallic? Too bad someone lost our crowbar, isn't it? Hey, that seagull was eating my sandwich. Yeah, we've got something straight and metallic, baby. I like how if you got to this place, it like, gives you a hint in the dialogue on what you should do. That's pretty cool. And got it. magnet. Now let's get that power back on. I would really appreciate that. Turbine starter. Rust away. Okay, we know what to do with that. Out of fuel, looks like. Empty fuel.
Okay, alright, I think we're ready. So hold on. We can have her repair that, can't we? We need to get, I tell you what, it's, I think it's a lot easier if you are just the character you need to be and then you just go boom, boom. She doesn't need that. She's got the duct tape already right. Let's repair this. And... Yes! Voila! Master okay. engineer. There you go again. Using fancy words, making yourself look smarter than me. Honey. No. I don't need fancy words for that. Yeah, honey. Rust away. Rust in peace. Good work there. Thanks. Heading inside. Let me inside, baby. Oh, the wing nuts. Makes sense. Nice. Me, I oh. love progress. Oh. It's dark. Hours off here. I give him that back. We don't need it. Obstruction. The crates are stacked in a way that clearly suggests they were intended as a barricade. Well, that's bad news. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Charlie. What is that? It's... Uh, it's a body. Okay, that's it. Get back to the boat. No, 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 Mac. It, it's okay. It's okay? It's a body. A really messed up one, too. We're out of here. Authorities can deal with this. It's not like we haven't seen bodies before. Remember the Starfall? That was different. It was a contract. We knew there was going to be... And now we know the same thing here. Uh, Charlie. We can do this. We don't have any idea what's going on here. Whatever killed him could kill us too. Exactly. We don't know. We don't know if it's dangerous or if it isn't. So we stay until we find out. Charlie. See you more on. Just a little further, Mac. We need this. We need it. You know I'm right. Uh, I'm with Matt on this one. Further, the next time I call it, it's called. We don't know if it's dangerous or not. Motherfucker, he has been skinned alive like the predators just ran through. What the hell? It's a flayed man. <laughs> Guys, flayed? Nah, nah. I'll be gone. Stephen Cameron, technician. Looks like a pretty young dude. I've been assigned to assist Dr. Elspas. Should she require anything to be lifted or transported? Apparently her bones are messed up, soft as chalk. It feels like I, I am on Vulcan Death Watch again. Did I mention she smells like zinc and brimstone? Right, hold on lads. I need to get into a more... Comfortable position. Oh, there we go, lads. Maximum comfort achieved. 37 log entries were erased remotely. To Captain ha Has Haskeen. Sir, we've lost comms with the mule. Impossible to say for sure, but all the connections going dead simultaneously doesn't seem like a mechanical error. I hear our occupying force is communicating below just fine. I guarantee they've noticed the mule's comms are down and they don't seem bothered. Captain, my take. They cut the comms to control the flow of information from the mule. Don't want anyone accidentally learning about what's happening down there. If I'm right, they're doing cleanup rather than containment. And we need to make sure we don't start looking like we need a wash. Calf told me that more systems have been shut down remotely. Any attempt to use them brings up an error, this error saying Deep Sea 15 no longer exists as it's now listed as lost. I did stuff like this during my time in Blue Haven in the 70s we called it the ghost fuck operation. Sorry, the goat fuck operation. Evacuate what personnel and data we can, then burn the place to the ground. 
The standard procedure was to set the site to self-destruct. This buys time to generate plausible deniability and shape an internal narrative. This guy's like a, a um, although he's a technician, he sounds like he's worked in like military zones. You know what I mean? I'm texting all channels. Is anyone there? The last thing I remember was helping move cargo, captain's orders, and then something heavy hit me on the head, knocking me out. Dr. Elspas was the only one in the room with me. I woke up covered in blood and not a living soul around. What the hell happened here? This is like a um, event horizon. I'm getting event horizon vibes. A ton of debris washed up on the landing. Life jackets and equipment from the Sebastian. I won't tell the captain. He is not coping well. Oh sweet mother. The bell came back and something climbed out. I heard screams. They didn't sound human. Cap. I got the sentry gun up and running. And if by some miracle. Sorry. And by some miracle. I also got the DNA sniffer working. So if we can get a sample from that skin job. We can target it specifically. I've seen these rounds perforate tank plating out in the field. So anything that gets much as grazed will be reduced by to chunky mints. The battery was fried. So I spliced its cabling into our power grid. It should stay operational while we have power, and it has ammo. Also, uploads to Luna finished while I was working, so they got whatever data they wanted. Soon after, the system started doing a local scrub of our servers. It took a while, but I managed to catch that it was scrubbing every mention of this operation from our systems. I have a feeling that our time is up. Tick tock, that's all I hear. Go to fuck operations always end in large explosion. No explosion then. Sid didn't make it. I heard him scream, and then he was gone. Cap, you were sleeping when I left. I'm heading out now to deal with the old generator. The gas needs a refill. I should be done before anything goes to hell. Lock the door just in case, please Cap. I need to head out to grab some supplies and start jury rigging that long range radio so it works out for, for our benefit. This sounds sentimental and somewhat ridiculous given the circumstances, but I will grab some flowers from cold storage. I know a vet loved yellow daisies. And we would feel better if we sent her off respectfully. Chin up. See you soon, Cap. I've been assigned to assist Dr. Elspas should she require... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's a loop back round. Okay, let's check this bad boy out. Flayed, man. Uh, this Lovely. Like what? Like it's staged. Like a... Like a ritual. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Look. Yellow daisy. What is that? Can we? I don't know what this is. Some sort of key? It looks like a key. Okay. Yeah, he's fucked up him like. Why has he got... Is he, is he at, his back's attached to something? Large equipment. Bowels. A wispy web of meat stretches lazily upwards. Whatever craft or device holding them aloft, hidden in the darkness above. The strands dance and oscillate in time with dust particles brought to life by the dirty air. Beads of blood hanging from the tendrils, each reflecting a dot of light. Profane decoration upon necrotic wings. Yeah. It's not wise to be here. Elevator panel. Damn. Without power, this elevator's not going anywhere. Working on it. Work faster. Security lockdown. Denied. Couple of tops placed on the floor. Look at this. Fuel cylinder resupply station. Functional. <sighs> Looks it. That'll come in handy. Nice. Nice. Screwdriver. Give me that. Okay, okay. Give me the fuel. Boom. Right. 
right, I don't think we have this information yet. Do not. Can't read that. You can't take that back out, so this is right, I would imagine. Well, we've got this. So we put that back. Right, that's fixed. Perfect. We just need the fuel now. Oh, look. Four by three. One. One. One, four. Actually, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out a way to like memorize this. It's just, it's, it's easy. Boom, 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 boom. Although I don't know why that's orange. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Right, that worked. But wait there, I want to try something else. Oh, okay. So it might be wrong. What can we can we just go? Shit. I think. Let's not think about it too much. I'm going to go with what's on the pad. Let's try that. Right, we've got it. Okay, give him this back. YOLO baby. Oh, did that work? Did it give us this? Switch distribution control, input correct substation sequence. We've seen this. We've seen this. Where did we see it? Okay, so we're on the other side of the barricade, right? Wait there. Elevator panel. I thought something was. I thought something was walking towards us. It was just a chain. Can she do anything else here? Substation notice. Well, at least you got the symbols on. This is not what I was thinking of. This isn't the item that I saw. Nope. It was a white piece of paper with writing on it. I remember it. I, I think it was up here actually. Oh, I remember where it was. This is it here. Ah, uh, wait there, look. Informative poster features basic information on the power distribution layout for the DS-15. The code AAFJJJAA is legible. AAFJJJAA. Right, okay. AAFJJJAA, I've got this.
Right. A A F J A J A A. Boom. I like how we've got the option of getting a hint. Because sometimes you don't want to be stuck in a puzzle forever, like if you just can't figure it out, but we'll, we'll figure this out. Right. Why did that not work? A A is crossed out. A A F G A J A A. So it's not A A. B N T K. I thought like crossed out means it's like dead but these have got squiggles I don't know if it means the same thing or not TK FG oh no that's not in sequence is it FG JG is in the middle I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. FG JJ We can't even get TK, so that's that's off the that's out the question. None of these other symbols were on there. Unless it just means nothing. Oh, wait there, are these are these substations? Hold on, hold on, what do these actually mean? This is the oil rig, isn't it? Is this the schematic of the oil rig? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, maybe we just want power to like where we are. Okay, give me a shot of this. I think maybe crossed out just means you don't do it. So if we go, oh, FG, JJ, FG, JJ. Okay, so because the top floor and the bottom floor is not, let there be light. Not Good on. Work. Um, problem though. What? Can't access the rig schematics. There's a security lockdown. Stand by. Okay, I'm in. There's a control room through that sealed door on the upper deck. If we're gonna override the lockdown, that's where we do it. Got it, I'll check it out. Right. Sealed door on the upper deck. Is her door open now? Out of curiosity. We'll go with this guy first. Because she could do something with some power as well, couldn't she? This is it. So, yeah. There's no chance I'm squeezing through this. What about Moses? You're kidding. He's helped sort scrap before. Already has a comm rig and a QSD. Uh, we can trade items with him just like we do with each other. <sighs> I don't like talking to him. Every time he asks about... He was with her when it happened. It happened because of him. That's not fair. I'm just saying what it is. She jumped in after him. It's still not fair. Fine, I'll get the damn bear. Here, take his key. And be nice. Oh, shit. So we're starting to figure out what happened. Wait there. Yeah. We're starting to figure out what happened to the daughter. So... She went in a body of water, I imagine, after the bear. The bear survived. Well, we don't know if she died or if she just got swept away. That's why we don't know if she's dead or not.
Do we not need a power cell for this guy? I am Moses. I am Hope's best friend. Hope isn't here, Moses. Ah, yes. I remember. The water. I do not like water. She tried to... Head up to the top of the rig. I need you to squeeze through an open door there. I will not see Hope again. Head up to the top of the rig. Get through the door. Now. Yes, Mac. So the daughter's called Hope. I thought it was just... On the bay. The daughter was called Hope. I didn't realise that. And now wait there. So yeah, I noticed that that slot was... Bro What's that smart bay? What is it doing? Oh, I didn't. I, I thought it was doing something because I thought... Because I clicked Smart Bear, but it was just because that was part of the screen it was trying to get to. Right, wait there. I want to click on her first because there's a door here that didn't have power that we I want to check out. No, still in security lockdown. Fair enough. Right, let's get the bear. The bear necessities, baby. I miss hope, Charlie. I do too. I miss playing with her. I do too. Is it wrong to wish I could stop missing her? Sometimes I feel guilty for wishing it. I'm not being funny, right? But why does the no, child's toe look I, like? I think that uh, it isn't wrong at all. My Charlie. Why does a child's toe look like fucking nightmare fuel? <laughs> this this bear is the most hideous looking thing I've ever seen. The thing is, or whatever creatures or I things we're about to experience. Water. In water, you are powerless. Whatever creatures we're about to see, I bet they're not as hideous as this creature. This robot. There is a lot of water here. Water is unsafe. I do not like water. It'll be dry inside. I promise, Mouth. My Charlie. Charlie Mac. I am inside. Okay. Now you need to get to the control room. It's on the other side of that bulkhead. Control room. Oh, the door. This place smells bad. I would like to go home now. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Language, Mac. I know, Moses. It's okay. We'll leave soon. I promise. I will leave soon. The unwelcome aroma of damp intermingling with rot permeates this room. This is not safe for children to eat. Look at that. Food's still on the plates. Yeah. They left in a hurry. Or didn't leave at all. Collectible VHS found. I don't even know where I got that from. Eight stars might be relevant. Hold on. See, this is one thing I've got to be careful of, right? When these guys have conversations while you're walking about, it doesn't highlight blue things anymore. You can't use it. I nearly missed this. Deep Sea 15, Pool League, Home Team, Other Team. Winner gets their choice of shift rotations for a month. Two months. Right, I don't know if this is going to be... Maybe we'll get like somebody's first name or last name. And we have to find their initial or something for, I don't know, for something. Kitchens can be dangerous places. 
Utensils, sharp objects and powered equipment should always be stored safely. Sid Cookie Monster Mason. Chef, this guy's murdered plenty of people. My Christmas lunch menu is Peruvian string beans and oyster soup, followed by prime rib and pickled eggs with the chestnut dress salad on the side. Dessert will be clover leaf rolls dipped in honey. Double rations for your drinking pleasure, lads. I'm so hungry. I'm dad, I'm not even hungry, right? But I just need to tell you, I need to get this off my chest, right? Tonight, me and my lass are just going out for a cheeky Nando's, right? And I'm just looking forward to it. I'm so looking forward to just having some peri peri chicken shoved right up me arse. Love it. Love it. Like, we, d we don't go out too often, right? But it's nice when you're doing it, just to sit down, have a nice meal cooked for you. And the good thing I like about Nando's is I, I don't... I've, I've kind of like been looking after my health a little bit, a little bit better in the last like... 12 months let's just say so I stopped I used to love drinking I used to drink quite a lot of Pepsi Pepsi Max because it was sugar free right but it's still really bad for you and um, so I exclusively drink water now but I only ever have like fizzy drinks when I go out but the good thing is when I go to Nando's you get unlimited refills and Nando's is one of the few places where their refill machine actually tastes like real coke like it's not it's not watered down loads Whereas when you go to a pub and stuff, it's just piss water that you get. Nando's has actually got nice, nice coke, which is which is good. So some chicken and nice coke. Fucking winner, winner, chicken dinner. I caught a glimpse of Dr. K's new pet this morning. She's been growing some tumorous meatballs in Baron's lab. I swear I heard her cooing to it as though it were a newborn while she carried it around in a napkin. <sighs> what is this woman doing? Her obsession with mixing her bodily fluids into whatever organic morsel she can find is getting to me. While cooking breakfast this morning, I suddenly panicked that she'd somehow contaminated ingredients. Not long ago, I found one of her fish in a, the extended storage freezers covered in pustules. A weird mucus-like goop crawled out of its gills and across the drawer interior. I swear to God its dead eyes were staring at me as if pleading. I asked Steve to toss it, burn the drawer and order a replacement but I can still smell the thing no matter how much I wash. I was asked to whip up a batch of goodnight juice for Kurt. He's still having those bad dreams. A tasty blend of synthetic opioids, cough syrup, sedative hypnotics and essential oils will have him sleeping like a baby in stasis. I'm genuinely happy that I went through all that effort to get the transfer topside. I was cooking down there long enough to get a whiff of what they were digging up. Imagine being in lockdown there. I wonder if Abdulaziz is okay. I doubt we still count as friends after the way we parted, but I wouldn't want anything terrible to happen to him. It's that synth asshole Corbin who keeps me from visiting. Gotta say, it's been a luxury not needing to worry about random security inspections, cavity searches, or a dipshit attitude. I'm no longer in a I'm no longer a holy man, but I've been praying that some black ops thug mistakes him for a toaster and puts a few rounds in his plastic face for target practice. Yeah, that will put a smile on my dial. Great news, the company rescue boat. Sebastian is being prepped for departure. We've been ta tasked with loading boxes of reports and crates of artifacts aboard. There is barely enough space on the deck for all this treasure, so I'm not sure where we will batten down. Can you hear that? Who's whistling Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? What the fuck? The ship's crew seem to shudder with disgust whenever they look at us. They aren't even navy. These guys look like bullet stoppers. Whatever. I'm too tired to care and I'm glad most of us will be off this miserable platform in an hour. I hope Abdulaziz joins us. 12 log entries were raised. Yes, we're part of the collateral after all. As the ship departed, I saw Baron and several executives watching, watching us plead the way a child watches a worm eat an insect from the inside. This was the first time I allowed myself to really see his face. It will stay with me to the grave. Cap D has called a strategy meeting. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its leg to escape. We will survive this together. So they were left here to die. And who's whistling twinkle twinkle little star? It's very unnerving. Right. 
right. Wait, 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 wait. There's something quite far away here. This way. This way? The floor is slippery here. Children should be cautious. Yeah, it's blood, mate, no? The door is closed. You're small. Find a way in. I will try. My Mac. Screwdriver. Right, hold on. Goodness. This could cause injury if it lays here. I'm gonna cause injury to you if you keep spouting out public service announcements. This is a deep sea installation. Everything on it's dangerous, okay? Just ignore him, Mose. Bye, Charlie. All we gotta do is disconnect this. We can't. Ah. I'm gonna melt it. This is yeah, pretty funny, funny actually. Things apart really well. Thank you, Mac. Nice. That was cool. I I can imagine this being quite the sticking point for someone. Because if it wasn't for me just flicking buttons to see if anything changed, you, people, someone would look at this and go, oh, we need an item to cut it. Interesting. The bare necessity. Good work, Mose. Now, can you find an access point and override the security lock? Am I allowed to do that, Charlie? We're giving you permission. Can he do that? Yeah, he can. I've uh, kind of improved his design. He's a very smart bear now. I am a very smart bear now. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a very smart bear now. Yes, you are. What's it called again? Moors. Moses. Charlie and Mac. <sighs> Sentry gun is... Oh, we've got access to the sentry gun. Connection secure. Firewall override. Access granted. Improved. I see what you mean. He's actually useful now. Mac, please be nice. It's a damn toy. Not to her. He wasn't. Exterior and interior bulkheads are cycling pre-checks. Please be patient. Mag doors are gonna open. Right, so she's got access now. What else is here? Numerous clumps of paper lying on the damp floor, slowly congealing into soft mush. Corpse. Hello, body bag. I am Moses. What is your name? Moses found another body. <laughs> Getting a really bad feeling here. Just a little further. I think she's on a suicide mission, isn't she? She's trying to get us killed. This guy's so friendly, he just said hi to the dead body. Donald Big D. Haskeen. The captain. You will make all indulgences to our representative, Baron, as if he were K himself. Kane himself. As of this 0800 hours, the mule has initiated quarantine supplies and water will be rationed. So listen up, fuzznuts. If this is your first quarantine experience, crockery only gets washed once per day after evening chow. One flush only. Get used to the shit I smell or pucker up. You get one fresh water shower a day. I'll be keeping an eye on the meters. That's not too bad. Then again, I suppose if you've been grafting all day, you'll be absolutely stinking, but at least you get one a day. One meal pack per employee, company or commissioned per shift. These restrictions do not apply to corporates. We'll adjust rationing to accommodate their schedule and proclivities. We'll, I'll be 
hassling the mule for updates on how long this will last. Hopefully, it's only a drill like last time. It's been there three weeks since this lockdown quarantine bullshit started. started. Somebody really humped the bunk. I miss you, Yvette. I hope you are safe down there. 25 days in and still no updates, not a word from a vet. The banging and shouting I've been he you've been hearing over the last hour would be the unannounced arrival of SEC team. The ship they arrived in the Sebastian is moored to the DS-15 Dock 5, which is out of bounds. Do not screw with these guys. They stormed the facility like they were raiding a goddamn drug lab and had itchy trigger fingers for anyone standing in their way. These war chickens are taking orders directly from corporate and the rest of us are just in the way. I'm available if you have any questions or concerns, but keep your eyes open for GD's, GD's sake. Keep your distance. Who was that to? The crew. Keep it together, Don. Your crew needs you. A vet will be fine. I've got more bad news. The weather service has alerted us of a m mother of a large shitstorm approaching our mobile Chernobyl from the southwest. Our own ping jockeys predict we've got about nine hours before it hits, so tend to any hatches and bulkheads. You know the drill. Get those supplies strapped down or brought in, and make sure your assigned cargo has been maglocked. I want everything to be shipshape. Let's not take any chances here. This storm looks like an angry one, and the grunt work will help us keep our minds off things. 49 logs deleted. Attention, with the storm rocking in 2 hours, we were given the marching order. Pack up your shit and get a dock 5 in 30 minutes, no exceptions. Kane's rain. Someone at HQ didn't want us talking and flipped the kill switch. All outgoing net functionality is dead, with a single exemption, Kane Luna. It's, it's the only place our hardware is talking to right now. By the looks of it, it's a hell of a conversation. Mule comms are still good, but our broadcast blackout means they're also cut off from the rest of the world, and I'm starting to think that that's the point. The Mule hardline died. No more chatter from Kane Luna, screams from maintenance. Part of me regrets not boarding the Sebastian when it left, but I couldn't abandon my crew, or a vet. It's nice to have her close, even like this. I keep wondering if I could have saved her if I'd fought my way down earlier, rationally. I know they'd have shot me, shot both of us, but maybe it would have been better to die together instead of just finding her too late. I'll meet my maker soon, waiting is agony. I'm just too tired for it. But I think it would be nice to watch the fireworks with her, to sit together one last time before everything comes crashing down, listening to our hearts beating tune as we join the Nexus. So that's who she is. She's the last in the body bag, and that's him. He dragged her up here. Poof. Absolutely brutal. What the fuck's going on here? The children should not try this. I agree. We just got a bionic heart. Then again, maybe this is relatively normal in this universe, like, we do have people with artificial hearts these days, don't we? I don't know how what, like good the technology is, but maybe, well there's a sentry gun. This elevator has been secured. Uh, we could use possibly a magnet. I don't know why I'm trying to use the heart on that. <laughs> Can we not just shoot this with the sentry gun? I mean, that would be wise. Actually, it would be unwise because I don't add whatever's trapped behind there. I don't want none of that jelly. Guns are not toys. True. Depleted power cell. We need some sort of floppy disk. But I don't know what to do with this yet. So I imagine we go back to her. But she's now got access to the secure door, hasn't she? Elevator. I tell you what. Let's call it an episode, let's save it, before I forget. Boom. Right. We'll call it an episode here, when we come back... Aha, look. Oh, security implant required. 
I know where to get that. Wait, let me get. Let me do that now. That must be what was on this guy's hand. Oh, we gotta cut the hand off. Oh, it looked at us. I thought it was in his mouth. The dandelions are in his eyes. Okay, there we go. Right, we're in a perfect place. Perfect place to start next episode. Right. Done. Okay, lads, that is the first hour of Stasis Bone Totem. It's good. I love the atmosphere. I'm actually dying to find out what's really going on. It's pretty messed up. I love it. Hope you enjoyed the episode, lads. See you in the next one.